Hi, Joe English here with Event Marketer Magazine. Today on EM All Access, I talk with Paul Way of Oracle about how Oracle is keeping content fresh for their event attendees. Let's listen in. What kind of measurements and tracking do you do um, to see what types of content is being used and requested by your attendees? We're, we're in the process now of, of analyzing that extremely carefully. There's a tendency, especially with social media, but a lot of content, you'll focus on what we would call vanity metrics. You know, what are the number of clicks? How many page views did it get? How many impressions did it get on social media? Uh, and for us, we're trying to get deeper into that with our metrics and try and find out uh, how much content, when someone clicked on a particular link, what was the bounce rate, for example? on that piece of content. And that tells us whether that piece of content that was sent was of interest to that particular user. We also, we try to follow conversations when we do this. So what we're also trying to do is measure a level of conversation around a particular topic prior to us doing a campaign. And then actually looking at that same thing after the campaign is over to try and determine how we move the needle on that topic and our company. So it, it's much more of a process now where uh, we listen more carefully. We're trying to use the listening metrics instead of just simple metrics because we've kind of been using those metrics, but we're at the stage now where any metric has to help us. We have to use that metric to gain insight, and then we have to take that insight and put it into practice with the next piece of content that we write. So we're constantly changing the way that we do things. And so that brings to, to the fore a whole bunch of social media tools that, that we use. It's a much more powerful use of things like uh, Adobe Site Catalyst and things like that than we've traditionally used. Uh, and it's really more than anything a combination. We're now bringing those things together, which is not something we traditionally did. We, we measured this over here, and we measured that over there. But these days, it's not enough. You have to figure out a way to get those two metrics to come together to create some sort of insight that you can use. Thanks so much for joining me today, Paul. Thank you. Good luck with you.